All right, well, quarterfinal three of the 2007 AFC Asian Cup is going down to the wire, the penalty shootout wire. Will it be Iran or will it be the Korean Republic who goes through to the semi-final and a match against Iraq? Let's go back to Bukit Jalil and the National Stadium in Kuala Lumpur. Brenton Speed and Ange Postacoglu will talk you through the drama. But it looks like the first one will be to Korea and uh, pretty sure it's going to be Lee chung Su who didn't have a great night with set pieces. And delivery wasn't great. As I said earlier, all that goes out the window. Everything that's happened in the past, this comes down to mental strength. When you put everything out of your mind, stick to your routine, get the technique right, overcome the emotions. Maybe that's why Talablu has been sent out. A bit of psychological warfare is up his sleeve as well. As he just wishes Lee Chung Su the best of luck. I'm sure that's not what he's thinking. So the 26-year-old midfielder leads off South Korea in the penalty shootout. Sends Talablu the long, wrong way. South Korean fans are up this end of the pitch and they roar on the number 10. Not a bad decision, straight down the middle. The one thing you do know, the first penalty, goalkeeper's keyed up, he's going to dive. Now, I don't know if you wanted to hit it that central, but it's not a bad ploy. And the important thing is he's got his team ahead. Lee Won Jae greets Feridun Zandi. Just like Talablu did, the keepers like to stare down their opponent before the shot is taken. He's got a wonderful left foot, Feridun Zandi. Great penalty. Lee Won Jae went the right way, but he did enough. He's got a beautiful left foot. Zandi, and this is what I mean, technique, mental strength off the post. Backed himself. Wunjai went the right way, but the penalty too well taken. So 1-1 one, one in the shootout. Kim Sang-sik against Talablu. Waited for the keeper to commit. He did. The goalkeeper win early. Kim Sang-sik has had a good game. Again, good solid technique. Went through the process. Relief. Korean bench. Now it's the captain, Mehdi Matavikia. He took the second penalty against China three years ago in the semis. He converted that night. Now he stares down his opposing captain, Lee Won Jae. Mehdi Matavik here for a run. And his opposing skipper pulls off the, stay, the save. South Korea in front. Lee Won Jae wins the battle of the captains. Went the right way. Not far enough in the corner by the captain, Matavik And he knows it. Head in hands. Rubarian, head in hands. It's the substitute, Kim Do Hyon, to try and consolidate South Korea's lead. And the save, that's why he's out there. Talablu levels things up. Take a bow, Amir Galinoy, coach of Iran. This is why he made the move. Goalkeeper, not a great penalty, but does enough. Gets his leg to it. Denies though. Hion. We are back to all square. How about the range of emotions for the coaches. with a chance to level things. Good penalty. 
Makes things level now. Three penalties taken. One miss apiece. And Ayati fairly solid with his technique. Here we go. Yeah, good penalty. South Korea in front. We're getting to the business end now. We are. And once again, Teller Blue went down early. Jay Jin kept his nerve. Went for the went, waited for the keeper to go the wrong way. And there's pump of the fist. Katibi has arrived, He's had a frustrating night, and pulled up for so many offsides. Now a chance to take out his frustration. Power this one into the back of the net. Saved by Lee Won Jae. South Korea back in the driver's seat. The captain's done it again, and I think he's hurt his foot. Katibi went for the drive down the middle. The trailing leg of Lee Woon Jae, the goalkeeper and captain, has set his sights side up. He limps away, Lee Woon Jae. And some of the South Koreans thought they might have won it already. But now they can. They lead 3-2, and the man whose goal against Indonesia got them here into the knockout stage has the chance to put them into the semi-finals. Kim Jung Woo, the 25-year-old, sends the keeper the wrong way and South Korea are going through to the semi-finals against Iraq on Wednesday here at the Book at Jalil Stadium and the South Korean fans who packed in are going crazy. Kim Verbeek, against all the odds, is taking his team to the final four. He has an they rejoice. He's got the orange tie on. I don't know if it's a lucky tie, but there's the hero, the captain, the goalkeeper, Lee Woon Jae. Two great saves in the penalty shootout. It was a tight game, fine margins, and in the end, cool way to go out, but you can't deny the South Koreans. Here's the winning penalty. Again, the technique. Kim Jung Woo. He splashed across the headlines. Splashed across the newspapers tomorrow. There's the Korean bench, they know. Semi-final. Pimbo Beak, one step away from the ultimate prize.